going on guys it is your boy Alexis Sunlight here and today I have a video on how to create amazing thumbnails clear bright colorful you know you know whatever word under the sun um, this is how to create amazing thumbnails so in this video I'm going to show you what app I use um, and what um, I'm gonna show you what um, like kind of how I make the videos on the website and then how you uh, transport it as your thumbnail onto your video so first of all guys um, obviously um, you want to go onto the website so the website is called Panzoid background or three um, I can't actually click on that but you want to type in Panzoid background or right here and it's always the first tab so once you click on the tab um, you're going to come up with this screen here and first off you want to change the basic under the basics you want to change it th to thumbnail um, so once you have this you want to search for a background so for example I've chose this one here you know this kind of blue sparkly sort of theme so you want to go onto layer one upload image select and then find your image I have so many images here it's just going to take a while no here we go so mine's under images what you want to do that that wasn't the one I chose, was it? No. Oh no, I know what mine was called. One JPEG, right? So once you choose that, you have your layer up, and what you want to do is obviously you want to add some text, guys. So what you'll do is, um, for example, first um, I'm going to put create, um, and so obviously you have the text there in the middle. What you want to do next is uh, add a border to make it stand out. What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to have mine as a white border, as you may have saw at the start of the video. <coughs> so now I have the white border, um, I'm just going to increase this to 5, you're not really going to see much difference on the screen yet. Um, next, uh, you want to increase the font size, which will again be underneath this tab, once you click on this, um, it, this will pop up. and. Uh, you can change your font so for example I'm going to choose impact once you choose this um, you want to increase the font size for example I'm going to use um, 350 um, and if you want to rotate the image for example you know press 5 for it to rotate anti-clockwise or have a minus in front to rotate it um, clockwise so I'm just going to have mine on 5 and I'm going to place it right up here so once I, we have this guys um, obviously you want to change the color of the font and you know it's it's really simple to navigate along here so I'm gonna choose a color for example that and then it will look as colorful as that <coughs> so once you have this guys you want to um, either you might think oh I, I want to change this or I want to duplicate this so if you want to duplicate the layer you press this button along here next to sprite one which will then bring up a sprite too so what I'll do is um I'll have that there we'll have this uh, this uh, second one pop up and then you'll change this for example amazing so create amazing and then I'm gonna duplicate that again um so now I've duplicated it three times guys this is what you'll have coming up so now I have the text here I'm thinking you know what I want to add a picture to this so what you do you'll select um, and you'll just you know scroll along your pictures thinking um, what uh, you're, you're thinking or oh, what do I want uh, I'm just gonna for example have this because you know oh it's amazing um, so I have that little bugger over there and I have my text here so what you want to do again with the picture you can change the rotation for example I'm gonna have this one at minus 10 and then I'll see you can increase the site the scale so what you want to do here you want to have the X and Y scale at the same so I'm gonna put mine at 1.5 because I don't want it to be too big uh, maybe slightly bigger we'll go 1.6 so now I have this you know what I want to go 1.7 I'm sorry doing this live is not easy so there we go 1.7 and uh, once you have all your text done and all your pictures done this is when you want to put it onto your thumbnail so what you'll do you'll click on download background here say this it'll finish really quick and then press the download button 
So once you do this, you'll come up to this screen, guys, and what will, you'll receive a pop-up saying, um, do you want to save this file? So here we go, save file, and uh, there we go, it's saved. So this file will be saved in your downloads file, um, so that is where to find it. And obviously, if I open it right here, here is the thumbnail for my video. So once you make the video, um, you'll go on to your YouTube, and uh, for example, I'll just do it um, with one of my videos. You'll go on to say this video right here, and um, you you'll have a pop up here which says change image. Once you go onto here, you click onto your downloads, and then scroll down until you have your image right there. And once you double click on that, you press save changes. Your background will pop up, and then there is your clear, bright, standing out thumbnail for you guys. So if you enjoy, guys, that is all. Hope you found that quite clear. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments down below, guys. But make sure you subscribe for more great tutorials, more great Black Ops 3 gameplays. Got another episode of, um, what was it, 5KD Challenge, guys. So make sure you keep up to date with the first episode, just to, just so you know what is going on. But that is all for today, guys. If you enjoyed, guys, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. It is your boy, and I see you tonight. Peace out.